The uh, 2018 budget was presented by Mr. Little and his, uh, put together by his staff, presented last month at our uh, council meeting. It has all of our expenditures and all of our revenues um, for the municipality. This document is available online at the municipal website. There's also a copy at the Monroeville Public Library, and uh, I believe there's also a copy at the municipal building if anyone needs to review it, but it is all online. It goes through everything, all of our expenditures and all of our revenues. When we talk about revenues, uh, you know, the, the, the one that gets the most press is the real estate tax. Um, and our millage, our real estate tax is four mills. That's $4 per 1,000. The budget, the 2018 budget presented by Mr. Little, uh, does not call for a tax increase. The tax, uh, if we pass the budget as is, there is no tax increase for 2000. 18. Uh, we will be having two uh, budget hearings, this one, and then we have another one scheduled later in the month, and council can decide to have um, more hearings if necessary. So getting back to our, uh, the millage tax, or the millage rate, your property taxes, your real estate taxes, are for the, uh, what you pay on are three things, your county tax, your school district tax, gateway school district, and Monroeville tax your school district tax being 19.34 mills, your county tax being 4.73, Monroeville being four mills. So in the example of a $100,000 home, your taxes, your property taxes would be as follows, they'd be $1,934 for the school district, $473 for the county, and $400 for Monroeville. So just to be clear, what we're talking about this evening and what municipality covers is those four mills, the last one. Uh, the $400 on the $100,000 home is what a taxpayer would pay for the items we're going to be discussing over our next hearings. But just to clarify, this budget does not call for a tax increase. Um, but we will be going through all the line items of the expenditures and the revenues over the next couple budget hearings. and. Uh, and that's all the comment I wanted to make just to get things started here. We are the budget itself doesn't um, call for a one mil increase in the manager's address, uh, which is included within the budget. It does request another uh, one mil increase for capital improvement projects, correct? That's correct. So with that being said, I was just curious as to where council sat on that, if, if you guys are in support of that or if you guys are opposed to that. The budget does not call for a tax increase. It's in the message, but the budget, which we vote on, that we vote on it as is, does not increase the millage rate. Chad, I can recommend, okay, in my in Absolutely, my and as a constituent, I can ask of my council people. carries that, policy. They carry tax increases. Absolutely. And that is up to them. Which is why I'm here to ask. Um, well, and once again, to clarify, there is a, in the budget message that Mr. Little presented, the message, he recommended a one mil increase for capital improvements, which is roads, storm drains. However, that is not in the budget. The budget that we are voting on, if we pass the budget as is, there is no tax increase, just to be clear. But, but, but are you saying Mr. that there, is there money in the 2018 budget for roads and storm drains? Yes. There, here, okay. We started a uh, concept of pay-as-you-go with respect to capital in, in Monroeville. Uh, Monroeville is approximately $26 million in, in bond issues that are outstanding. We pay $3.2 million a year on debt service. It's just like paying your mortgage, your credit card. Uh, and that won't reduce until the year 2024. Our debt service is, is, is about 10% approximately of our general fund. The Government Finance Officers Association recommends 10% should be the max uh, of, your, uh, of your general fund. We approached that. We were over that. We were 11% over that. But because our debt service has come down a little bit and we've been on a pay-as-you-go, we're reducing. It's just like reducing your mortgage making, well, not making an extra pay. We're trying to get out of the debt we're in. That's, that was my recommendation to council in 2014, and it is still my recommendation. Don't float any bonds. Which we have not. Make sure Which that we have not. We haven't floated a bond. We've refunded bonds. Let me, can I finish? Yeah. Because there, there seems to be confusion, and I want to try and clear that up. 
Now, what we have done is we have transferred a million dollars, which was from the last tax increase in 2014. Okay, that was part of you. We brought, we get about 2.3 million dollars on a mill. We raise mill approximately 1.59, somewhere around there. Uh, and, and that brought in maybe about $3 million. One million of that goes into the capital improvement fund. In government accounting, you have separate funds. <coughs> now, in the meantime, when you go on your pay as you go, we would usually spend, we used to spend just $1 million on roads alone in Monroeville. We only spent um, $250,000 in 14. And I think in 15 we did the same thing. We upped it to $500,000. And this year I've recommended putting another $300,000 in to spend $800,000 on roads. Because out of that million dollars comes $500,000 comes out for roads. All right? So as you don't fix things as much as you did before, as I said in my budget message, they begin to deteriorate. I have had this in my budget message the last two years, and I may have had it in the last three years. I don't know if it goes back to 15. It may be in there. But it, everything deteriorates. My responsibility of the manager of this municipality is to inform this council and the residents what's coming down the road here in the future. And when I say the future, I mean two, three, five, ten years. And our, our infrastructure is deteriorating. And we've had more people since I've been working here complaining about the roads. Now, the sewer lines, we don't have to worry about in the water. That's the authority's responsibility. But it's other things like vehicles, police vehicles, public works vehicles. I told, I told the department heads, and I said this publicly, don't put in for any vehicles next year. All right? Because the million dollars we're transferring, a million dollars in a community this size just doesn't go too far. We would spend over $2 million every year, computers, vehicles, roads, um, maintaining buildings from a capital perspective, maybe putting a roof on a building, taking care of the parks. All that <coughs> stuff has to come out of capital. All right, in my recommendation for the last two, three years, yes, and I'll stand by it is somewhere down the line you're going to have to increase or you're going to have to float a bond. You float a bond, it's just like taking out a credit card. In the long run, you pay more money on the interest. So that's what this community is up against right now. Now, as Mr. Greesock is saying, there is not a one mil increase in the budget. It's not budgeted in capital. Let's just talk capital. It's not in there. But my recommendation is to put it in there. It's up to this council to do it or not.